This is DL Tillery here and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, how about you press that subscribe button and give that little bell a ring so you know when I'm loading my new videos. Well, today I want to talk about main plot creation. Now your main plot creation is forming when you are doing the steps before outlining. If you're following what I like the type of setting that I do, you will be forming your plot as you're doing the steps before outlining. That's when you were jotting down all those creative ideas that were coming to you at the time and when you went into your bio character creation and when you started doing the world building points. So in world structure build things those things will help form your plot what you want to do is go to those notes so you have your notebook in front of you and or your computer with all your steps before outlining ideas and your character bio and your world structure rather that be the world building points that I gave you before however you do that so you have those things in front of you and then when you go back to read them, you'll see that there is a plot forming. Maybe possibly an idea of what the book is about. That's what the original ideas were. Form your plot, your main plot, because there's also subplots, which I'll have a separate video on. But the main plot is the main driving force of the story. So you want to sit there and think about, okay, whatever you're writing, I couldn't possibly know that. But give an example, if you're writing a story about a werewolf, let's say... You could be writing a story about a werewolf that is attacking a village, okay? So the werewolf that's attacking the village, your main character, let's say, is a werewolf hunter. The main werewolf killed the main character's family. So the main plot would be, possibly, that the main character wants to kill this strong werewolf that's plagued his life by killing his entire family and he moved away and came back. Now he's a tough, strong werewolf hunter and the main plot is that he's going to go after this big bad werewolf. Let's say this is an example of how you would form your plot. So your main plot, your main ideas of the book was, I want to write a book about werewolves and I want to write a book about a werewolf hunter that's hunting werewolves. So you came with those ideas and then your character was a, you know, a person who had lost his, lost his parents young. He was raised by the people of the village, let's say, um, a family that took him in. So that has to do with his child upbringing that I talked about in my character bio creation. And then you can structure his personality from that, which you already have. Then you have the plot building around that. So you see how you can form a main plot. The main plot of the story, but then subplots come into play, which helps drive the story along into keeping the story going for the main plot. Subplots are also important to the story. So this is one way for you to help build and come up with your main plot. And you can help build your story from there. These are steps before outlining because once you outline, you know what your plots are. Most of your plots are going to be as you're building your outline. So this is definitely the main, one of the main, main steps before you outline the main plot, which will drive the story. Try to give what I said a go. You pull up your ideas of your book. Your, you know, you got the title of the book, possibly at this point. You have the bio for the main character and some side characters. And you have your world structure and world build that you messed around with a bit. Now you have these ideas and all these other things in front of you. Now it's time to build your main plot. So share with me what you do to come up with your main plot. How did your main plot form? I'll see you in the next video. Take care.